This is part three of differential equations using the quadratic equation. This is to transition from math, like using Khan Academy uh, differential equations and algebra, to show you how those fit with uh, level and flow diagrams, or sometimes called stock and flow diagrams. So, first we start with the initial values for the uh, equations, and in this case, uh, y of 0 equals y sub 0 equals c, the constant in the uh, equation, and y prime, which is the first derivative of the equation function y, uh, equals y prime sub zero is b. So we have these uh, constants in the equation. The differential equation then is y prime equals mx plus b, m times x plus b. The rate of change of that is linear. So the rate of change of the uh, differential equation is linear. And you remember from your basic algebra that m is the slope of the line and b is the y-axis intercept. And there's a linear relationship between y prime and x. The function that we're going to uh, <clears throat> work with here in our model is the quadratic, e fun quadratic function, and it's y equals the constant a times x squared, so that little hat means x squared, plus b times x plus c. So we have a, b, and c as our constants in our equation. And for this model, we're going to, I've entered the data already, uh, a equal to 5, b is 10, and we're going to take a simplified version here first with c equal to 0. So this will be similar to what we looked at in part uh, 2 and part 3 where we had the uh, initial value of y sub 0 equal to 0. And then we'll, we can make it more complicated. So in this case our model is uh, has two levels, uh, y, and the initial value of y is um, y0 equal to c. And then this is our first level. And then the second one is y prime, which is our differential equation. So the value of y prime is the flow going in and out of, because we have to deal with uh, uh, the value of going, uh, could be negative. So there could be a flow out of the uh, equation. And then on the other uh, level, we have a flow going out. Now, the sign of A could be plus or minus, and that would uh, change the uh, way the, the graph uh, shows. So well, let's, well, let's uh, okay, so do, uh, Y double prime equals 2A. So the equation in the flow is 2 times A. 2 times A changes the value of Y prime. The value of y prime, initial value is uh, b, and then the value of y prime uh, becomes the value of the flow that changes the value of y. All right, let's, done talking, let's run the graph. And we see that the Stretch this out here. Oops. Stretch. Get this bigger so you can see it. So the 
Uh, blue line is the straight line is y prime. It's linear. y prime is linear. And look at this. y, the quadratic equation, gives us a curve. It's a palabra. Palabra. Let's watch this again. Okay. Now, the palabra has a y-intercept of 10. That's the initial value for uh, b. Remember that from over here? We have b equals 10, so that's the value of 10 here. c is 0, and a is 5. So the, the 5, uh, let's see, 2, 2a is the slope of this line. So 2 times 5, so minus 10 is the slope of this line. It's minus because this is going down. All right, so that's uh, basically the uh, quadratic equation and how a stock and flow model is used to create the graph for a um, quadratic equation.